When he was four, he was diagnosed with leukemia, and um, for a while we struggled with the whole idea of uh, childhood cancers and um, what that meant. And so for three and a half years, we received blood and platelets to help him fight um, leukemia. We always could tell when he needed blood because he started to get really pale. He's pretty fair skinned anyway, but wow, when he really needed it, we knew we would need it. But it was amazing to watch that color return um, and that energy and that sparkle in his eye return after receiving blood. When we came home from the hospital, he wasn't walking. Um, and then one day, he, I was asleep on the couch and he appeared next to me and I was shocked to see him there. And uh, you know, I really knew that we were gonna get better, but just that initial um, few weeks of having him so sick, it was uh, kind of a life-changing idea. I'm a pretty structured person and was probably pretty rigid when he was little, but I think with all of us, we just realized that life is precious. And if it's fun to stay up late and watch fireworks or go to a movie because we all wanted to go see it, that's, that's what we do because life is just, it's so precious and you just never know. You know, you may wake up the next morning and, and your life has totally changed. We enjoy spending time with each other. It's been fun to watch both kids grow up. It's fun. It's been fun to watch Aaron hit those milestones. And often when he hits the big milestones like driving and, you know, entering high school, it just, it makes you really think, wow, we've come a long way. And he's just doing amazing. I would like to personally thank donors for saving my life and I think they're just the most generous people ever. I'm forever grateful for them for helping us save that precious little life. You know, it's the person that says I'm scared of needles. Um, think about the person who's going to receive that blood and um, not only are they going to have a needle that, that's going to put the blood back into them, they're going to have lots of other procedures. They may have um, a car wreck and they're getting stitches and sutures and everything else. They may have broken bones. Uh, the person may have cancer and they may need it and they're going to go through chemo and maybe radiation. Um, and then think about that's not an adult, but it's a little kid who uh, doesn't understand why the doctor is doing this procedure to them. And they look up at their mom and dad and they say, help me and realize, hey, the only way I can help them is to donate. We are given the gift of life every day. So I'd, I'd encourage those who, who say, you know, it's just another day. Um, it's not. There are people who, who won't see the end of the day. Uh, they may be adults or children who are hurt or injured in uh, a bad event, but um, we shouldn't ever be the part where we like, you know, I've, I'm taking today for granted. It, it should be exciting and we should focus on what can I do to improve not only myself, but the people around me. Thank you for saving my brother's life.